Hi friends, I'm Professor Joseph. I hope you all are doing great and welcome to this video. As you have already seen in the thumbnail, brain in a box. Yes, it actually means that your brain is actually in a box. It cannot see anything. It cannot hear anything. It cannot sense anything. It cannot do anything. All it can do is process the information that you are going to give it. Now, how you are going to process the information that is happening to you and how you are going to give it to your brain is how your brain is going to react. That is exactly what your brain does. The brain is inside a box. That means it's inside your head. But the brain doesn't have eyes. The brain doesn't have tongue. The brain doesn't have any organs to sense. It's all within you. What information you will give, the brain will process. Let's take an example. There is this man, goes to the gym, exercises one day, and then gives a signal to his brain that, oh my God, this is very, very painful. I don't think I can do it every day. Better than this is I should go home, sit on the couch, watch Netflix, eat some French fries and burgers, and enjoy. Because this will give me immediate enjoyment. Who's going to wait for one year? Who's going to wait for three years to have a great body? And this person is giving this kind of information to the brain saying that, you know, I just want to relax that pain. I don't want to take that pain. And because this person don't want to take this pain, eventually what is happening? This person will not have a fit body. This person will not have the energy to work. Because this person will not have the energy to work, he will not get a good job or he will lose a job which he has and then will fall short of money and will not have a good life. On the other hand, think about a person who has gone to the gym, doing the same thing, lifting up a lot of weight, body is going through a lot of pain, a lot of repetition. But what signal is this man giving to the brain? This man is telling that, wow, I am really working out. Very soon I will have a great body. I will have a great shape. I will look fit. People will think good about me. And when people will think good about me, I'll get good jobs. And when I get good jobs, I'll be paid well. And once I get paid well, all my dreams can come true. So now this man is sending a signal to the brain saying that this pain is good, pleasure pain. Now when you look at both these examples, you see that the same person going to the gym, comes back home, gives a wrong signal to the brain and you see how it impacts this person's life. And when the same person goes to the gym, gives the right signal to the brain, the workout keep going on, the fitness keep getting better, he has a better personality and a better future. So what's more important is what message you're going to give your brain. Because the brain doesn't understand anything. The brain will only process the information that you are going to send into the brain. That's why your brain is in a box. Let's take another example. There is a woman who has done a project, gives the file to the boss. The boss looks at the project and now calls the woman in the cabin. The woman goes in the cabin and now the boss starts screaming at her, yelling at her, insulting her. Now, what is the kind of information this woman is giving to the brain? I worked so hard. Still, my boss is not appreciating it. Forget about appreciation. My boss is insulting me. This is not good. I am not good enough for this job. I am not good enough to live. And all the negative things start coming in her brain. Now, just imagine this woman goes in the cabin and imagines like this. That I have a boss who does not know how to communicate. Something like this. In some different language is communicating. But I can understand that my boss is telling me that you have done a good job, but it is not up to my expectation. Try to do it in a better way. Redo it again and come back to me once again. Now, when the person is listening to all that the boss is telling and processing all this information and telling the brain that this person don't know to communicate. So this person is not able to use the right words. Now, I'll tell you what this person is trying to say. The person is telling, you've done a great job. The project is done well, but I'm not happy with it. But you've done great. Why don't you make some minor changes in it and represent it to me? Then let's have a discussion after that. Now, what has happened to your brain? When this information goes to the brain, the brain is saying, wow, I feel good because 
I've done a great job. It's not up to the expectation, but next time I'll do even better. Now you see how the brain is thinking. In one case, the brain is thinking that I'm useless. I'm no good. I should not even be living. On the other hand, the brain is saying, wow, I've done a great job. Only thing is a little bit efforts is needed. I will do it better the next time. Now the brain is ready to put more efforts. In the earlier case, the brain is telling your body, leave everything, forget everything, just go home and sleep. But in the second case, the brain is telling, no, get back to work. Do it in a better way. Present it to your boss so that your boss is happy. So you see, the brain is in a box. The brain does not see anything, hear anything or sense anything. It's what you are going to tell your brain. I'm training my mentees on investing and long-term trading. And how they are going to send the signal to their brain is very, very important. So there is going to be a series of videos that is going to train your brain on how you can become a successful investor or a successful long-term trader. Keep watching the videos. All I can say is keep learning, keep growing, keep getting better every single day. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar.